hi see you again so now we are going to explain um about 2013 o level paper one uh question one uh for the for the following videos uh you got to get ready all the questions so that when we go we will only go through an answer i would not post the question over over here and um over here it's better that you you have your question with you so that when we go through it will be easier for you to refer so part two of this question says prepare a rent receivable account for the year ended 31st august 2013 that means prepare a rent receivable account from 1st september 2012 to 31st august 2013 so now i got to understand what is this okay so um look at the question carefully so this this is in the books of Ken Hong. So you have this uh, rent received. Then here, during the year, the following payments were made and received by check. Rent received. So that means I can understand from here is that Ken Hong is receiving rent. That means he has ran out his promises uh, to, to a tenant and the tenant is paying him rent. So that means Ken Hong is earning rental income from his promises. So what you need to do is um, draw up the rent receivable account, the, draw up the T account structure. Okay, so then now I got to look at here. The following balances were in the books of Ken Hong at 1 September. Rent received 362 paid in at once. Okay, this one you got to think. You got to think as if um, you got to imagine that you are Ken Hong. Okay, imagine that you are Ken Hong. So at 1st September 2012, Rent received 362 paid in at once. I ask you one question. Is it you owe the tenant or the tenant owe you 362? At 1st September 2012, do you owe the tenant 362 or does your tenant owe you 362? Okay, at 1st September 2012, I have received 362 from my tenant in at once. For, for maybe the, the future month's rent, okay? So that means um, the tenant has paid me maybe um, September or October 2012 rent in at once. So in other words, I owe the tenant 362, okay? I owe the tenant 362 because the tenant has paid me 362 in at once. Um, assuming that if, if the contract somehow has to be terminated prematurely, I would need to refund my tenant 362 because I have that is what I received um, in advance for future months rent. So I have to refund them in case I terminate the rental. So so that means I owe the tenant as at first September 2012, I owe the tenant 362. So now this rent receivable in in advance. Um, okay, so you 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 know that debtors are people who owe me money. Creditors are, are people whom I owe money to. So creditor is a credit balance. Okay, it will be on, on this side. Debtor is a debit balance. It will be on this side. Okay, so that means if on 1st September 2012, I owe the tenant 362. So here 2012, September 1, the balance brought down will be on the credit side. You know why? Because I owe the tenant 362. So that means it is a credit balance. The balance brought down will be always on the correct side one. Will be always on the correct side of the debit or credit. Okay, so the balance brought down is on the credit side because it is a liability. It is it is um, similar like creditor. That means on 1st September 2012, I owe the tenant 362. I mean, I am Ken Hong, so I owe the tenant 362. Okay. So and then rent receivable, rent receivable is is um credit nature account. So so um you it is this side is plus, this side is plus because it's a credit nature account. Uh, you can also think it that way. During the year, Ken Hong received this amount four hundred forty four, four hundred twenty eight, and four hundred sixty two. So that means he would have debited the bank and credited the rent receivable account or if he has received the, the 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 rental income that means his income increased so it will be on um, the credit side it, it, the credit side is the plus side because rent receivable account is a credit nature account 
um, because it is a income account, a revenue account. Okay, so you put all the rent received over here. The, the other account will be bank because you receive by check. So you debit bank and you credit rent receivable account. So um, put, take this and put it here. Okay, follow the date put nicely. Okay, then here, the rent receivable for the year was 1450. So, so what does this mean? On 31st August 2012, the rent receivable for the year was 1450. So that means what I can understand from this is for the whole year, the, the supposedly rental income is 1450. Okay? That means the, the correct rental income for the whole year, for the, the correct rental income for the whole year um, it, that is supposed to be received is 1450. The correct rental expect uh, rental income for the whole year is 1450. So in the profit and loss account, the rental income will be 1450. So here the 1st August profit and loss account. Okay, so that means at the beginning of the year, my tenant paid me in advance 362 for this year's um, rental for this year's um, rental and then during the year I received this amount this all these three amounts of rental rental okay so that means the total that I have received in respect um, of this year's of this year's rental income is thousand seven okay this 362 is what my tenant paid me last year but it's for this year's income plus how much I received during the year for, um, from my tenant for, 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 the, for the rent, okay? So that means total that I have received uh, in respect of this year's, uh, total that I have received, so-called, so beginning of the year, that this is 362, is last year, pay for this year one plus, what have been paid for, for um, during this year is total 1,007. Okay, but the rent, the correct um, rent income for the whole year is one four five zero. So thousand seven minus one four five zero, two hundred and fifty would be the balance carried down. That means two hundred and fifty is what my tenant have paid me in at once. Okay, for for next year's um, rental. Okay. So because this year he paid me total thousand seven, including of what they have paid me in advance um, towards the end of last year. Okay, but the thing is my rental income that is supposedly to be um, that the correct rental income is one four five zero. So that means my tenant have paid me extra two hundred and fifty, which is um, which is to be carried forward next year because this is the rental that my tenant has paid me in advance for next year's rent. Okay, so um, I hope you you have you can understand um, this. If um, there's any question, you can post it in the comment. Um, I would try to make more uh, videos um, available for free so that uh, more students can can benefit, uh, even for A levels. But certain questions which are um, too long, it will be difficult to to make it available um, in this way. So um, it, it may not be done. I, I cannot think of a, a way to do it uh, at the moment. So anyway, just uh, try to make use of the resources over here. Okay, see you again. Bye.